This is OE6590 voice module that was sent to me by icstation.com. The module includes a microSD card slot, an amplifier, small amount of flash, and of course main chip which is capable of playing MP3 files from memory card. Some of you may have seen my tweet and wondered why would I get two different MP3 modules. Well, the previous one is good for playing music, while this one is more advanced. In addition to having play, next, previews and such push buttons, this module can also be controlled through a serial port. When controlled using serial port, user can for example change volume, select which track to play, and read current status of the playback, playing or stopped. These functions allow this module to be used as part of automated system where user input isn't needed to trigger the playback of an audio track. I took out a breadboard and an Arduino just to notice that the MP3 module comes with 2mm pitch pin headers instead of 0.1 inch headers that would fit into the breadboard. There are adapters that convert between these two but I don't have any, so I took 0.1 inch pin header, bent the pins and soldered them to the module. Not the best solution, but it allows me to continue this test. I connected the VCC and ground from Arduino to the module, connected TX and RX of the module to GPIO pins of the Arduino, and I used software serial port while testing, so I could use hardware serial port to communicate with the PC. Last thing I needed to connect was the speaker, which can be connected directly to two pins of the module, no need for external amplifier, which is a nice thing. Then it was time to send some commands to the module, using software serial port at 9600 port rate. There is Chinese website which has all the commands listed, I'll put the link in the description and you can use your favorite translation tool if you don't understand Chinese. I'll go through some commands that I find to be necessary for this application. Each command packet consists of start byte 7e, then 2 to 4 command bytes, and an end byte ef. So the commands. Volume can be adjusted by sending command bytes 0, 03, 0, 06, and a third byte which is the desired volume level between 0 and 30. Actual volume depends highly on type of speaker used, so start with 1 and increase as needed. Specific track can be played by sending command bytes 0, 04, 0, 03, and then two bytes which indicate the index number of the track with file names 001, 002, 003 and so on, that number is number on the file name. Sending another play command will stop possible ongoing playback and start a new one. Sending command 0242 will make the module respond with current state, playing, paused or stopped. With this command one can program Arduino to wait for first track to end before sending another play command, if that is required. My test code sets volume to 8, plays track 1, sets volume to 3, plays track 1 again, and after a few seconds plays track 2. While it is doing that, it monitors state of the module and likes an LED while it is playing. With these three commands, or two if monitoring the state isn't needed, you can add sound output to your microcontroller circuit. And now is perfect time to start making props for next year's Halloween, so why not get one of these for some spooky sound effects and start making. For other applications, there are five pins which can be used to play back one of five tracks. Connect first of those pins to ground to play track 001.mp3, second pin to play 002.mp3 and so on. I think this module is quite versatile and one of the only problems is 2mm pin spacing. I would rather take one with regular 0.1 inch pin header, but I understand that would make the module somewhat larger. 